Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wolgate. I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Today's video, I want to talk about specifically the weird, weird case of Bella Lisa. Um, if you don't know what Bella Lisa is, Bella Li I'll explain it in the video. But it's supposed to be a craft SNC from the Da Vinci shop that we were supposed to get by now. And it's currently two months late, which is bad. So I want to talk about it. That's going to be what today's topic for the video is going to be. If you end up liking it, you can leave a like, comment about what your specific feelings on this. I don't know how many... I'm going to assume anyone that plays Fake Grand Order is similar to me in which they were waiting for Bella Lisa. But there's obviously going to be some people who don't know. I would love to hear it. You can subscribe to me for more stuff. So, let's start to give some backstory. In Japan, the Japanese version of the game... There was a winter festival called Winterfest that went from 2018 to 2019, and they did a whole bunch of campaigns with it. And the basic theme was that there was a traveling circus, as you can see here, with Napoleon and Mash right here. It was it was pretty cool. We actually do have the CE. We never got this, which becomes important. We never got Winterfest. We don't get Winterfest at all. There have been multiple winter festivals, except for in the year the pandemic struck. Um, but we've never gotten it. Not once. Um, but during one of them, specifically in 28, 2019, the main thing that they would do is give us some St. Quartz. They would usually have like a talk show, like a stream, um, and they would like introduce some stuff. I always I always watch these streams and I'm never 100% sure what happened in them because they were always in Japanese and I don't know anything in Japanese. Um, but here you go. In this one specifically, they this is where they announced that CCC was coming. And then added to the Da Vinci Workshop was Bella Lisa. Now, uh, and then also just to show you how ages was, it was new information on the Babylonia anime, which had not been released yet, and the original soundtrack three and stuff like that. Um, anyway, so Bella Lisa was supposed to come out with um, this. Uh, CCC, which would have been last month for us, is when we were supposed to get Bella Lisa, but we did not get it. Um, I forget how long CCC is. I was like, is that been really that goddamn long? It really is. What does Bella Lisa do that's so good? Well, Bella Lisa is a um, craft essence that's all about QP farming. So you would basically put it in friend support. And when it's in a friend support, it becomes a 15% buff. So it completely replaces Mona Lisa for the thing you want in your friend support if you're picking Ryder, um, for most players at least. Some players are less concerning. Um, why is this so important? Well, one, QP is the most valuable resource in all of Fate Grand Order. If you want to do anything like leveling your character skills to trying to get to level 100 using Grails, the number one thing you will always run into is, I don't have any QP. That's the reason why most people crazy grind the lotto. Do you think it's for the resources? No, it's because you get so many, it's because you get so much QP from it along with resources and it's actually a huge pain in the ass to effectively grind QP. It super sucks. Um, it sucks to an insane degree. And if you're a new player, like, good luck trying to get Mona Lisa because I think you need a, a rare mana prism to unlock the ability to purchase Mona Lisa and then you still have to pay 5,000 mana prism if, if I'm correct on this one which I'm pretty sure I am because I think I had to do that because I wasn't able to get my last copy of Mona Lisa um, so there's a bunch of players right now who don't have really much and you can also look at the QP um, CEs there's not a lot of them and a lot of them aren't good because most of them are deal only give like two, 2018 or 2019 to 2020 um, I think this is the one that actually gives a percentage. Yeah, this one gives a small percentage, but really most of them don't go beyond 5%, um, except for Mona Lisa, which is 10%, and then Bella Lisa is 15% when you use as a friend support. Um, but not only that, you can use Bella Lisa with your own Mona Lisa and then a friend Bella Lisa, so you get a butler. You get 30%. 30% QP gain is extremely good. Um, there's no denying that, and uh, for a lot of players, this is an extremely important CE, and they were extremely waiting for it because you have to save up 5,000 mana prism. I had saved up 5,000. I currently have 7,000 because I was at some point I realized, did they ever release Bella Lisa? And 
I realized, no, they didn't. They completely missed the entire damn date of it. Um, which is insane, because it's very... You know, some people will occasionally grumble at N.A. missing a date. And, you know, to be fair, our anniversaries are a little bit off, which is fine. I think it makes sense for the grand scheme of things. But this CE is the, like, the least important... This is the easiest thing for you to release on a, the right time, and they just didn't do it for some reason. And the crazy thing is, is that they continue to not do it. Let's look at the ongoing events for North America real quick. Babylonia released Blu-ray campaign. It didn't release... Didn't release it with, along with it. Comma event you can't release it with. Fine. I give you that one. The Easter campaign. That would have been a nice Easter thing. They could have snuck it in there. The Easter campaign does not come with Bella Lisa. 13 million download campaign. Did not come with Bella Lisa. And then if we look at in general what we've been doing, like. I don't understand why they haven't included it. So. This February 17th is when we were supposed to have it, so... March 17th, one month delay, and we're heading to the second month delay with no sign of it ever showing up at this point. Um, so I've been seeing, so I've been wondering, and I've been looking at some of the, what other people are thinking of the reason why we have not received Bella Lisa. Um, one of them is someone saying, I remember seeing some people saying the reason is is that they actually want to wait until we get you know, little Lisa, um, added to the game, which would be the anniversary. This anniversary, where she is the anniversary unit, which would delay things in to an insane amount, that then they should 100% not be doing that. Um, but also, the reason that they say that they want to wait is because, like, it's technically, like, a weird spoiler, and they don't want to release any CEs with her on it, but then that's just not true, because... She released, there's a literal um, CE of her, oops, a CE of her in the New Year's event already. Like, she's already in the game. She's, obviously you can't see her unless you go to, um, uh, unless, until you start part two, you can't really see her, but she's totally in the game. Here she is, right there. So that's not the reason. That's very clearly not the reason. Um, the other reason is, is that we don't have Winter Festival, so that kind of screws up their thing. And I guess maybe because of the pandemic they had something planned and then they had to drop it and then they completely forgot about Bella Lisa. But that's weird because we don't have Winter Festival, but they usually give us other things that like counteract the loss of St. Quartz. So why not? Why? It just doesn't make sense as to why it would have to be tied to that specifically when the previous campaigns we've received, like Thanksgiving Day stuff, like doesn't tie to it at all. It just doesn't make any sense to me. It's really peculiar, and it's not like there's a specific thing against like Tiny Lease. Like, look at her. She's not. This is like the least offensive CE that we have in the entire game. It's just a very nice picture of. Lisa. So there's nothing wrong with that specifically. Hell, we have freaking Jack and Kama, which are ten times worse of anything, so I don't think it has to deal with stuff like that. Um, and to be fair, we've never really... Had, the only person we've ever had problems with is the guy who is extremely problematic, who is uh, Detroit Emiya, as he is called in the Japan version of the game. Emiya Alter, which, oh my god, that's an entirely different can of worms. So I don't know what's going on, man. I would really like Bella Lisa. It's very rare for me to actually complain about the release schedule to North America, because I actually do think they've been doing a perfectly fine job. Um, I, I, don't, I don't mind the speed of the game, I don't mind it being two years behind, but as long as they keep with a pretty decent schedule, this is like the one time I think they haven't really released something, and I don't know why it would drop their minds, because this... I cannot underestimate how much people have been waiting for this damn CE. They love it so much. <laughs> because QP of Army just sucks. It's one of the worst things in the game, to be honest, which is why I save all my grinding of it for Lotto Season. I hate doing it. Um, and also, 
but it doesn't stop people that want to keep on doing it. Some people have literally played so much of the game, the only thing they have left to do is QP grind. So, they needed this C or something. But, uh, it's strange. It's, it's extremely strange, which is why I wanted to do a video on it, just kind of talking about it. Um... I'm not, like, upset. I'm not, like, saying, like, oh, we should, we need to, like, fucking stop them down. It's more really just, like, a real, like, where is it? And I'm more confused than anything else. What of all, of, of the, t of the almost coming up four years of the game? Has it really been four years? One, two, three, four, five years? No way. Are we really at the fifth year? No way. I'm, I'm something, yeah, okay, you know, we're coming to the fourth year. I don't know what. One, two, three. Okay, now it makes sense. In the four years of playing this game, it's really the only delay that they've ever done. Sure, they've done some weird things with, like, the GSSR where they said, like, <laughs> where they just waited till the last minute to say, hey, we have GSSR, which was dumb. I don't know why they did that. And it was also dumb of the entire community to completely monkey flip around when it wasn't announced right away. Um, but for this one specifically, it's a real head-scratcher. I don't know what's up, especially since they could have easily put it into the 13 million download campaign. It's not like 13 million download campaign is one-to-one -one exactly what we get. We get changes to campaigns all the time, so they could easily have snuck in like, hey, fourth, boom, Bella Lisa, but no, they didn't do that. It's really strange. We're even getting storage updates. So why are they doing this? I don't know, but that's basically what I wanted to make this video about. It's a very weird thing that's happening. I'm sure hope that we get her. I hope they don't delay it too much. I wouldn't mind it. If it ends up being just this month, then it's just a weird case of, okay, that was weird. If this goes on, Till if we're at the anniversary point, they have still not giving us Bella, Bella Lisa. Someone fucked up. That's my general feeling. There's zero reason why they should have been held. They held back the CE that long. A CE that is one extremely important to a lot of players that a lot of people were looking forward to doesn't make sense, and now specifically screws up the schedule of everything. Because here's the real other. Um, trouble is that after Bella Lisa there is no other like standout um, CE until I think sometime in t until the next year so if this gets delayed then this delays that this delays that this delays that and it prevents us from getting the better CEs at a reasonable time or the worst case scenario is is that they release Bella Lisa and personal cooking at the exact same time which would suck I also should mention by the way that the anniversary for us is supposed to be Detective Foe. So, we wouldn't get Detective Foe, I guess? Like, um, and then Caldea is up for the 18 million campaign, which is, I think, a good chunk away. So anyway, that's basically what I want to make this video of. I hope you liked it. If you are specific, I guess, if you understand where I'm coming from on this, tell me your thoughts on it. I'll gladly read it. <laughs> if you got any thoughts about this, I'll gladly read it. But hey, if you paid attention to this and you listened to me talk about it, or you've been wondering, like, why is everyone so up in arm about this specific Bella Lisa? Um, I hope that gave you some information. Then. But yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. I'll see you guys in the next adventure. You guys have a good day. Peace out. And Pokemon will come next week. Sorry.